Hello, good morning. <laughs> I hope you're all doing well. Um, this morning I'm going to make some more greeting cards. And um, I made those last Friday, I think it was. Um, last week. Oh, hang on. We made those. Um, and we pack them and make them all look pretty and everything. Um, you might do that with those as well. They're pretty much finished. I just want to add a few things and then they're done. Um, and I wanted to experiment a bit more with the swatches I made last week. And I made some more uh, this Monday with different colors. Um, and I want to make uh, use the um, metallic watercolors and see how they uh, react with the acrylic paint on the paper. Uh, so yeah, just let's let's get started. I think and um, start some work. Start to work. Get some work done. Um, so I want to add some fine liner to the greeting card, so we'll get this out of the way for now. So I have a little bit more room to go around. I like to use my uh, my Moody pens. I've got three sizes: uh, 0, 07, 0, 38, and 05. Um, let's start with the smallest one first. As it is watercolor, the details might get a bit blurry, so I thought it would be fun to add a few details. I like it a bit messy, so it's okay if it's not straight. And very light pressure so I sometimes misses miss a bit that's all right need them I think this one is fine as it is this one needed a bit more this one I'm debating but I do want to add like a few details on this one I'm 
choosing to have fewer details and more in line with the, uh, the painting itself. Less like messy as I did there. Just to give it a bit more structure. to do that it's just I like it a bit more when I do There we go. Those two as is. Um, same for those. Needed to think there for a minute. Okay. That means that those are pretty much done. I also have like cute lettering in Dutch, by the way. Uh, it says get well soon, happy birthday, uh, happy birthday, lots of love, feel better soon. Um, this is a happy birthday one. Or congratulations, depends on if you leave the happy out. Um, so I might do like one with the get well soon. I've never done this before, so bear with me. <laughs>
Ya. Oke. Okay. Dan honorable which has um, lots of law. on that then we can experiment what sells uh, better um. yeah all right okay so those are all finished up now put them aside for now um did here is um, I used some paper I wasn't using um, or some scrap, scrap paper um, and uh, I put some leftover acrylics on it and now I want to try and see what happens if I put some Like watercolor paint on it, so this is supposed to be like a gold. Um, you really need to wet this paint to activate it. I'll take my time with that. And then I did a love heart design, so uh, let's continue with that for now. Oh wow, it works. To be honest, I wasn't expecting that at all. Um, let's color this one, this first one in. You guys can see as well. Okay, great. It is like a like a shimmering, glittery thing. This is amazing. I was hoping it would work, but um, I've never tried watercolor on top of the acrylic paint, so.
There we go. All right. Um, yeah, I really love it. This is uh, working pretty well, and I'm gonna do one with silver as well in a minute. Since it's a bit dry, you can see the shimmering now. Yeah, I really dark. It's very enthusiastic, <laughs> uh, which is always a good thing. But uh, I'm thinking a little bit more ahead. You can also make a Christmas card out of this. Um, let's try this out as well. We're just gonna play around here, have some fun. See what else I can do with this. Let's put this aside a bit. We don't need all of it. Um, okay, so we've, I've done this before with um, just watercolor. So start with making a sh 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 circle, I was gonna say. It's more like an egg shape. Okay, let's, we're gonna color it in anyway, so it's, it's not. Um, end of the world if uh, the shape is not round in the first try we can edit a bit okay and then we're gonna leave some space open here so i'm gonna carve it out first there and then here too For the, the shimmering, and then we're just gonna color this in. I do need to start making Christmas cards uh, eventually. I'm not gonna say we're gonna make Christmas cards for the rest of the stream, definitely not. I just wanted to try this out. It's way too early in the season to start with that, and it is too hot to even think about Christmas, to be honest. It's 27 degrees here at the moment. to the side let it dry a bit give it a second layer then add a little thing on the top do some line work yeah okay put this to the side for now i do like it okay um we've got blue we've got a lot of purple we've got brown we've got more gold Reds and blues. Okay. Let's start with the blue one. Um, see, I was thinking green, but that might be a little bit too much of the same thing. I don't like the purple for like a leafy thing, so I might go for this one. Or that one. Um, just let me put up a reference.
I'll start off with something lighter and then we can all... Oh, that's the same color. Okay, I guess we're going with gold. <laughs> Um, let's do a, like a sunflower type of thing, or like a flowery type, so... We've got the center here, and then we do like oval shaped things like that. See if I have a different brush. This might work better. Mm, but then I started with this. Okay, let's continue anyway. Let's try the next one with a different brush. Because if I change, switch up now, then we've got different size lines and although I prefer it to be smaller. I don't want it to have a lot of difference in it. This holds the paint really well. go. Alright. Um, let's try 
Let's see if we can try something else. So I'm going to start with a few oval shapes there, and then like a stem this way um, Okay, this is working. Now. 
some add in some details.
and then we add one of those on top of this as well. Mm, I think it should be gold, but no, why not? Birthday. Happy birthday. And then I'm using my Muji pen again, the zero five, to shine it. I think this one needs a happy birthday too. In so I'm gonna add that.
supposed to be a straight line. So we're gonna add in the highlight now. shimmering Where we are gonna add in the highlight later. Uh, we're just gonna let this dry for now. Um, okay, let's have a look what else we can do. Um, I did save a few ideas. Um, yeah, okay. 
Okay, let's make a... No. Well, I'm debating a lot here. <laughs> Internally. Uh, good marks. Something for a little bit later. So you've got this picture here of a... Um, like a succulent type of plant and I really want to make one on, on this one, on this paper um, but I've got acrylic here now well we can do another test watercolor worked fine like a minute ago uh, on acrylic, so let's give it another go, shall we? Um, so let's start with uh, the pot. We might get some shimmering in from the water as it has like, I don't know if you can see it, but it has a lot of shimmering in there from the Paints, okay. A bit of yellow. Oh, I like this green.
adding another layer because the purple is peeking through quite a lot and I don't necessarily want that here. I don't mind it in the blues, but give it some blush too. I'm gonna draw a face on it. That works. Great. Okay. Activate the yellow. We're gonna add in some black just a tiny bit. See if we can make this darker.
using my 07 Mochi pen again. And then the O5 to shine. And let's see if it works if we use this color. So I'm gonna add lots of low.
Ja. Und wir haben Spanisch vor Amor. I do like this a lot. Um, let's get back to our Christmas card. Let's reactivate the paint. Leave it there, it's another one. Um, since I like the succulent plants a lot, let's make another one. Still got the paints here, so should not be too difficult. And we've got our reference now, we'll just put it uh, up here so you can see a bit. Okay, so we start with the base. that dry for a minute and then add in the greens the blues the other blue and yellow
add brushes. Adding in a bit more of that, so uh, it's a bit more noticeable. Okay, then I'm gonna add some blue back in. details
Let's uh little marks. Oh no, hang on. Ah uh, well, yeah, no worries. Yeah.
needs to add Get really annoyed. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna leave that for now there. Um, leave that to dry for now um, I want to add in some shimmering for the um, highlights and see if I can fix the situation with the paints okay I'm gonna do one more bookmark the love heart use a combination of open and closed
There. Okay. Make the contrast bigger. Then I'll look at some uh, stickers. It says uh, Merry Christmas or something like that. Why not package them up? Alright, um, let's move a few things out of the way. Don't need the pencils anymore. Thank 
we don't need those anymore. So we can package them back up. to dry a bit more. This can go. That's out of the way. Let's get the paints out of the way. Let's start with package them up. So we've got some envelopes here. We need one, one, two, three, four, and then we do it six. So we need ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten envelopes. Christmas cards out for now as they are not finished yet. And then we need 11 bags.
marks are packaged up. do today's first and then we do uh, the ones I made last Friday as well. Um, the last one.
this sticker will say that it is original art and therefore different from my printed greeting cards.
really like this light blue with the gold. Um, I love that combination, especially with uh, this type of flower. So I might make uh, more if I have some more light blue. a lot more and a lot of the, like, um, they're all kind of different now there are a few those two artists kind of the same um, I am gonna make more of the same I intend to have at least four of the same designs um, but I'm still figuring out the designs and what it is I want Sells as well. Because I can have like nice ideas and I can love what I make, but it doesn't necessarily mean that people will buy that too and sell it over to people. Okay. Alright, and then we need two more. For the bookmarks. And then I think I also need to print another sheet of stickers today. That's alright because I've got to print some stuff too today. I've got to print some stuff anyway today, so. We will do that after lunch. We don't need to write more of those, which is amazing. I did a few extra last week.
some point I do want to have a different system for the pricing. Now I'm just using old sticker sheets. That um, I found at the back of the drawer. Um, I think my mother-in-law found it. And it, to be honest, but I'm not sure. And um, it's really old, very sticky paper. So the good thing is that it won't come off. The bad thing, if if you want, is if you want to remove it, most of it is gonna stay on. <laughs> you need to really rub it down to take it off. Um, and the layers separate. Not as easily as you can see me struggle here. So I do want to have a different system at some point, but you know it's always good to dream about stuff. It's always good to have goals. To um, to have goals to reach for. Have a little recap on what we made. Try to put in frame as good as I can. I made a lot of sunflower cards, finished them up. We've got some, um, I think it's called Dragonfly. We've got those two, and then the shimmers. really hope you have enjoyed this stream um, as it is past 12 and I'm quite hungry um, I'm gonna end the stream here and have some lunch um, next stream will be on Wednesday um, Wednesday morning at 10 it usually is on Wednesday morning at 10 however um, I had something to do yesterday so switch it up a bit um, but yeah most of the times it's just wednesday um i 
hope you've enjoyed the stream um and i hope to see you next time thank you for hanging out and bye bye